Hi guys, this is Diane from Design Creative and I heard that you want to move your website. Okay, so you want to move your website, which is on a development area, to your live site. Okay, don't know how to do it, that's fine. This tutorial is going to show you exactly what you need to do. First of all, what you need to do is download all-in-one migration plugin and I need you to install that on both sites the live site and the development site now if you don't have an existing site then all you need to do is install WordPress on that domain and then add that plugin afterwards once you've added the plugin go to your development area and begin to export what you've done the reason why I'm a big fan of this plugin is because I can actually change the database settings without looking at a database. So what I'm going to do here is copy my URL and paste it in this box here and tell the database to find all instances of my URL and change it to my destination URL. In the advanced tab section, I can also choose to not export certain features of my website as well, including revisions, comments, themes, plugins, even your media files. But why the hell would you want to do that? Another great feature of this is you can also export your backup, so to speak, to, a, to anywhere, to Dropbox, to Google Drive, to Amazon, to OneDrive, to Box. In this tutorial though, I'm just going to export a file and download it to my desktop. Now, depending on the size of your website, it can take a short time or it can take a long time. So if it does take a long time, then I would recommend watching an episode of American Gods. Now that's all downloaded, the next thing I want to do is go to my live site and import that file that I just saved to my desktop. Now, this process can also take a little while. So if I was you, I would go and hug your kids and tell your girlfriend that you love her and then possibly come back and check to see whether it's rolling still. This screen here is basically asking us if we want to overwrite the database, which we do. So we'll just press continue and we'll leave it to run. This process takes a very little amount of time. So now the database has been imported, you now need to save the permalinks by clicking on the permalinks settings button and this will log you out. You have to log back in again and it will bring you back to the permalinks page and then you will just have to save the permalinks twice and that's it you're done no fraffing about easy simple you've just moved your site from one place to the other and you did not even have to look at an ftp client how amazing is that now a couple of things that i just want to make note of number one make sure that you back up your existing site because God forbid anything happens to your website and you cannot retrieve it. So make sure that you back up your existing site first. Number two, all in one WP migration works with a selected number of hosting companies. If you look on their website, you would see a list of hosting companies that works well with this plugin. The next thing is all in one WP migration only goes up to 512 megabytes in which you can upload. It's pretty big, okay, but some websites might be bigger than that. In order to upgrade, it's gonna cost you $69 to upgrade. Now for me, this price is amazing considering how much uh, Backup Buddy is and the fact that you have to pay 69 pounds and that is all you pay because it's a lifetime license, I think it's worth it. So if you're on a budget, this plugin may be great for you. For me, I know that I've used it a lot for the past six months. I really enjoy using it, hence the reason why I've done this uh, video. So if you can, share it, share the love, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.